Now we need to have uh, tougher sanctions, and I'm afraid at some point this is going to probably have to involve, involve oil and gas. Uh, the Russian economy is vulnerable. Eighty percent of Russian exports are in oil, gas, and minerals. Uh, people say, well, the Europeans will run out of energy. Well, the Russians will run out of cash before the Europeans run out of energy. And I understand that it's uncomfortable uh, to have an effect on business ties in this way. Uh, but this is one of the few instruments that we have. To, over the long run, you simply want to change the structure of energy dependence. You want to depend more on the North American energy platform, the tremendous bounty of oil and gas that we're finding in North America. You want to have pipelines that don't go through Ukraine and Russia. Uh, for years, we've tried to get the Europeans to be interested in different pipeline routes. It's time to do that. And so some of this is simply acting, and acting as quickly as possible. With regard to Nord Stream 2, uh, we continue to have uh, very strong and clear conversations uh, with our German allies, and I want to be clear with you today. If Russia invades Ukraine, one way or another, Nord Stream 2 will not move forward. If Russia invades, uh, that means tanks or troops crossing the, uh, the, the border of Ukraine uh, again, then uh, there will be uh, we there will be no longer a Nord Stream two. We we will bring an end to it. But do, but how will you how will you do that exactly? Since the project and control of the project is within Germany's control, we will. Uh, I promise you, we'll be able to do it. This is also a tremendous opportunity. It's a tremendous opportunity to once and for all remove the dependence on Russian energy and thus to take away from uh, Vladimir Putin the weaponization of energy as a means of advancing uh, his uh, imperial designs. Uh, that's very significant and that offers tremendous um, strategic opportunity for, um, for the years to come. But meanwhile, we're determined to do everything we possibly can uh, to make sure that the consequences of all of this are not borne by citizens in our countries, or for that matter, around the world. I don't know that I agree with you, to be, to be uh, fair, with all due respect. Uh, one doesn't have to be brilliant to attempt a coup. Uh, I disagree with that. As somebody who has helped plan coup d'etat, yeah. not here, but, you know, other places, uh, it takes a lot of work.